everyone i hope you all are safe and even in this recession time you are doing pretty good i hope but if you are not doing good it's okay if you are worried about your career it's okay because almost everybody is worried about their career nowadays because of those layoff of news in 2024 also we are getting these kind of news almost every day right we are being haunted by these kind of layoff of news every day so it's a new normal for us right those startups small companies even big tech companies are laying off amazon meta ibm dell swiggy and many more companies even i have heard a news those tech layoff number in 2024 touch 50k and it's not a good news everybody is worried about their career whether he is a working professional or he is in college second year third year final year student right and yeah i agree these kind of news we should worried about you know these kind of news a little bit right so in this video we will be discussing what should we do during this recession time whether you are a working professional or you are a student what should you do first thing second thing will you get a job as a student if you are a student you are in college second year third year final year student you will you get a job and third thing how much time these things will take to get better so we'll try to discuss these kind of things in this video right so first thing let me just tell you recession is not a new thing it comes and goes right we cannot control these things so first thing you keep in mind what you can do what you can control is you can control yourself that's it right so how to control your yourself upskill yourself in this time during this time because everybody is you know almost everybody is just worrying about these news by listening these news negative news negative thoughts and everywhere is these kind of thing negativity and all negative energy right so what you should do you should be positive you should learn something new you should upskill yourself during this time because i guess recession is the best time to learn something new to learn to you know to upskill yourself right and we know nowadays competition is so so much high at this level because of ai and all right because of these technologies so it's compulsory for you to upskill yourself if you get a job right and what is better time than this recession time if you are not obviously if you are the one you know you are not getting a job and you are free so rather than worrying about the things right these things layoff and all you just focus focus on yourself and learn something new learn new technologies new tools and all upskill yourself because definitely things will be better after within one year after 6 to 12 month definitely and at that time if you are a skilled person definitely you will get nobody can stop you getting a good job that is for sure right so upskill yourself that is one thing you must do during this time i would recommend right because yeah it's very tough to stay positive during this time right but if you stay positive and if you upskill yourself you focus on yourself right and you keep going then you will be far ahead of everybody else right so learn these things learn new things new technologies upskill yourself right now but the question is from where there are many free resources many things are avail available on internet right but if like i personally feel if there is a structured course or structured study material you get or someone to teach you from basic to advanced and uh, you know to someone to solve your doubts and all then what would be better than this thing right so there is a platform geeks for geeks i hope you have heard about this platform if you are in the tech field right so they provide many good courses they organize contests they provide practice questions company wise and many more on their website you will get but one thing new thing they have started in january that is their 390 challenge and guess what by popular demand it's back and this time it's even better now what is this 390 challenge if you purchase any course from geeks for geeks in the month of april and if you complete that nine at least 90% of that course within 90 days of your date of purchase right then you will get 90% refund of the fee that you paid for that course right so what does that mean you purchase more course you save more money and you learn more so i think it is the right time to invest in yourself 
right but this time not just refund they are also providing you some exclusive perks to boost your career and what is that thing one-to-one -one mock interviews and job assistance you will get personalized support to ace your interview you will gain access to many job opportunities career opportunities in many top tech companies and you can get your resume reviewed by experts right just to you know make your resume stand out from the crowd in this competitive job market so the link i'll put in the description box of this video just click on that link and explore the courses see bs algorithm courses placement and test series programming languages web development and gate machine learning data science so these are the courses on which you will get 90 percent refund so this challenge provides you a structured and motivating way to enhance your skills enabling you to enhance to advance your career and secure high paying jobs so all the relevant links and details i'll put in the description box of this video you can go and check out so i guess one thing is clear to you during this time what should you do right rather than just worrying about these things don't waste your time on these things upskill yourself focus on yourself right now second thing many you know students many uh, you know uh, those who are in college second year third year final year, they are having this question in their mind will we get a job during this time so see i have told you earlier also this kind of recession these comes and goes right so definitely within one year after six to twelve months things would be better right one thing definitely you will get a job but one thing competition is high you need to take care competition would be very high because of technology is changing rapidly because of these AI kind of things, chat GPT, cloud AI, and Devin, right? So competition would be very high. You have to be, you know, you have to get updated on these recent technology, recent trends on these tools, right? So learn how to use these tools. What are these tools? How to use these new technologies? use these things in your project or in your learning or anything right so if you have you know some experience of using these tools so your chances would be very high when things get better or even right now also it's not like that it's zero hiring no it's only like you can say 20 to 30 percent less hiring companies are still hiring even in my known one of my relative is having three to four uh, offer right now and he has, I think, joined Genpec, right? So companies are still hiring, but what? You have to be a more skilled person. Now competition is high, right? That thing is for sure. Earlier, if you know a little bit, it's okay. Mass hiring is there and on campus hiring more and more. So they, they are like, let's hire and let's, we are going to train him and all, right? But in this job market in these kind of situation right now this is not the trend right now they want a trained person they don't want to you know expend they, they, they don't want to you know spend their money on training people because obviously they why are they they they're laying off to cut off their expenses they, they are not having so much money or cash or fund and all right that is why so they are not going to you know uh, spend their money on training people and all so they want to train people skilled people so if you are trained if you are skilled already definitely they're going to hire you so they are still hiring just you have to be skilled person and just you have to be at right place at right time that is also important right so yeah if you are a final year student if you are going to graduate in 2024 right now right now so yeah you have to be a little bit worried about your job right but yeah if you are at right place at right time and if you have skills if you are able to make you stand up from the crowd right definitely you will get a job no worry and if you are in second year third year it's okay a market you know these these kind of things would be better next year so you will get a job but one thing that is for sure upskill yourself that is for sure it's not like that things when things will get better if you know a little, little bit they are going to hire you no competition would be very high right and one more thing keep your expectations a little bit low especially if you are graduating in 2024 right now 
don't just expect like after graduating i am going to get a very good job and high paying job and all no keep your expectation a little, little bit low even if you are a skilled person you know you know very much right but still you your focus is on getting a you know job where you can learn more and more it's not like that don't focus on your salary especially on your first salary right focus on learning not on salary just get a job in a you know decent good company which is giving you a decent salary that's it and focus on learning that is important right and definitely if you are a valued person means you have increased your value from here to here definitely they'll pay you more and companies will call you right you don't need to apply anywhere they will call you right based on your maybe online yeah everybody's nowadays have those online presence on many portals and on github linkedin and all so they will call you if you have a great profile right if you have something within you it's okay just focus on yourself learn and that's it keep yourself updated with new trends and new technologies so i hope this video would be helpful for you guys now that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care